Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. This is breakfast. I have my Shakeology, which has a cup of Starbucks Blonde Roast, half a cup of unsweetened cashew milk, and then three tablespoons of fat-free half and half with some white chocolate mocha sugar-free syrup. So the Shakeology Cafe Latte Whey is four points, one point for the half and half. This is five points. And then this guy, the all or no, not all American, the Denver Scramble is four points. And I added two eggs in there. So I am at nine points for breakfast. Um, this is my last just cracking egg, so I just wanted to use it up, but it smells so good. Sorry, lunch is so boring this week, but that's what you have what happens when you meal prep, I guess. I have a cup and three quarters of the Emily Bites turkey sausage and tortellini tomato soup. I also have my nails. Bro. Oh my god, I love it so much. This is a mood changer dip powder from Revel. It's called Starburst. So right now. Let me look at it. Right now it's like a, a purpley color, but it can get to silver. Let me see. Does that look any different to you? You see how, oh, there we go. You see how my pointer finger is silver and the rest are purple? Ah, it's so cool. I love it, it's so pretty. Holy cow, I am like, I never used to be a glitter person, but damn. Okay, anyway, back to regular schedule programming. This is eight points. And then I have a yogurt for two points. It's gonna expire today. Way to go me for actually eating my food. So lunch is 10 points. I think for dinner, I might do the Emily Bites, um, uh, what's it called? Chicken pot pie bubble up or my air fryer recipe. Not sure, but I'll talk to you later. Everything is coming up right now. The pain is 
Guys, I did it. Whew, I finished stronger, and now I am preparing dinner. I am putting together the Emily Bites um, chicken pot pie bubble up, and I'm preparing it before I have to go get the baby pee. It's 528 right now. I finished my workout around 5, I think it was 512 to be exact. Um, and then I just thought, why don't I put this together now? Because I don't know, the last couple nights when we get home, she like I'll pick her up and she's all smiles and she's really chill. And then when we get home, she's like crying constantly, like the whole time until she goes to bed. I don't know if it's just that she's overtired, if she's still not feeling well, like she's got a stuffy nose still. Um, I don't know if she's like teething early because she is drooling a lot and she is munching on those hands, man. So I don't know. But anyway, that usually leaves me like really frantic and feeling stressed out about getting dinner done. So I thought they will watch her until 6.30. It's not gonna take me until 6.30, I'm almost done. I'm gonna, I should be out of here in, in like five or 10 minutes um, and it's really close by. But I thought, let me just put this together before I get her so that when I come home and Chad comes home, all I have to do is preheat the oven, put, the, put it in the oven and then you take it out, sprinkle cheese on top and put it in the oven for more. So if you have not had the Emily Bites chicken pot, chicken pot pie bubble up, it's very, very good. Your ingredients are a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of thyme, dried thyme, two thirds cup frozen peas. You need 12 ounces of chicken, what I did, because I want to shop my pantry and shop my freezer as much as possible. I had canned chicken in the pantry, so I used two cans of canned chicken. They're 12 and a half ounces each, but I feel like that might be including the water or whatever it's, yeah, it's packed in water. So I put two cans in because I wanted a lot of chicken. And hey, zero points. Um, you need a cup of diced carrots. I just had a bunch of carrots. Girl, you knew I wasn't gonna eat those carrots. So I have those little miniature, you know, snack size carrots. Um, and I went ahead and just chopped them up in my chopper and um, used those, used my canned chicken, um, everything else I had to purchase, but it was really inexpensive. I have the seven and a half, you need a can of seven and a half ounces of biscuits. So Walmart, here's a tip. I can't find those anywhere in another brand, but Walmart has a four pack of seven and a half ounce cans of biscuits. So get those. And then you need two cups of gravy. She uses a Heinz classic chicken gravy, so that's what I got. I measured it, two cups is basically two jars. Uh, so that's what I've got there. And I think it's seven points for a sixth, which is really good. Um, and then you need, she uses, it's seven points, but she uses a cup of real cheddar cheese. And I have a ton of that in my fridge. Holy cow, my like deli drawer is packed with a bunch of stuff and a lot of that is cheese. So I get to use some of that up, which I'm really happy with. <sighs> so I know this isn't really a cook with me and I'll put the recipe down below, but all you do is, let me flip you around. I've got my carrots cooking in some, like a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is part of the recipe. And then I have in here mixed, why does it look fuzzy? Um, I mixed the thyme, the black pepper, the frozen peas, and the chicken. And then once the carrots are done, you just put it in there. Then you put your gravy on top of that, mix it all together. Then you put your biscuit dough in there, mix it all together. And you bake it, I think at 350 for 25 minutes. Take it out, sprinkle your cup of cheddar on there, and then bake it again for another 15. Pretty sure that's what it is, but again, I'll put the recipe down below. So I'm just gonna combine all this, leave it on the stove for right now until I get home, and then I can put it in the oven. Here it is, guys, straight out of the oven. Um, I plan on having two servings, just because I'm really hungry, and I don't, I'd rather eat this than like dessert, I don't know. Um, look at that. Uh, so that's gonna be my plan, and I put my information into the recipe builder and it was seven points for a serving. So two servings would be 14 points. Um, and I have 15 points left for the day. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. It makes six servings. So I'm gonna cut it into thirds or whatever, and then half. 
Um, so we'll see, but that's my plan. Guys, my Christmas is still up. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it down this weekend. That's an air purifier box. Anyway, here to close the vlog for Wednesday. Dinner, I did have two servings, it was super good. We've got two servings left, and then we have some stuff left of cheesy turkey, burger, macaroni, so I think we might just do leftovers tonight, Thursday. Um, and I didn't need anything else, so I had one point left over. That's it. <laughs> Hope you guys had a great Wednesday. I will see you probably for a Friday vlog. I'm not vlogging for Thursday. So see you then. Bye.